Hey guys, Rich here. A quick one today. I want to be able to tow my log splitter behind the zero turn um, because uh, normally I'd move it with the tractor, but if I'm doing firewood, I want to use the tractor to move the firewood and use the zero turn to move the log splitter. And this guy doesn't weigh that much. Um, this is this piece was on the back of my uh, Cub Cadet zero turn and it was mounted like this. And I picked up a tow ball that actually fits that hole. I think it's a 5 8. You think, Finn? Yeah, is it 5 8? Finn says it's 5 8. Um, but uh, when I put it on there, it hits, there's like a bolt that sits uh, right here. So it pokes out and stops it from going on. It's also a little bit on the low side. So what I'm thinking, I don't see any reason why I can't take this guy and flip it over like this. And it gives me more clearance on the ball and brings it up a bit. And I could add a piece from the ball, just a flat piece of plate coming out to still use this uh, just as a, like a, for a small trailer with a pin, like uh, this guy here, that just pins through a hole. So I could just add a piece of like a flat plate coming out off the bottom of the trailer ball um, to still use for, for that guy. So let me flip this around, see if this is gonna work. I think this is gonna be an easy fix to be able to tow something uh, with one of the Cub Cadet Zero Turns that use this type of plate. So I'll bring you back. Wow, that worked out perfect. Always nice when something is much easier than you're expecting. My uh, my warning plate's upside down here now. This this says uh, maximum 50 pounds of weight on this, and I think 500 pounds total for towing. So I mean, use your head. Uh, you shouldn't be trying to move your dump trailer around with this guy. But uh, this the tongue weight on on uh, this log splitter is probably maybe 20 pounds, and uh, I don't think it weighs more than 500 pounds. If it does, it's it's uh, not much. And it's just going to be going around the yard. So, yeah, if you've got a, a Cub Cadet or another zero turn with a plate like this in the back, if you can flip it over, it'll probably give you enough clearance to use one of those tow balls uh, with a 5 8 inch shank. And this, this tow ball is specifically for um, UTVs, ATVs, and uh, garden tractors. So, I'll link this guy below. I didn't even know they made these. Uh, the shank on this is much, much smaller than what you would have for a typical uh, either a bumper pull or. Um, uh, or, uh, or a bar. So that's it. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, take care. And there's a view without the, the log splitter on it. You can see how small that shank is. And I did not have to drill this hole out. Uh, the shank, I believe, is 5'8". The hole is the, is the same size. So you kind of see flipping that guy over, we gain the space to do it. Because when it's this way, you have essentially the, this bar and particularly the bolt head in the center is in the way. But with it flipped over, you get the clearance that you need.